When it comes to applying sophisticated tonal adjustments in order to improve the appearance of your older photographs, there's really no match for the curves adjustment. Now you might be a little bit intimidated by curves because it's certainly one of the more challenging adjustments to use, but I think you'll find after working with curves just a little bit that it's really not as hard as it seems. Let's take a look at how we can use curves to improve the tonality of an image that needs quite a bit of work. I'll start off by creating a curves adjustment layer. So I'll go to the bottom of the layers panel and click on the add adjustment layer button. That's the half black, half white circle icon. After clicking on that button, I'll then choose curves from the pop-up menu. As you can see, that adds a curves adjustment layer and also gives me the curves controls on the properties panel. I'm going to start off working with curves in a very basic way. In effect, working with curves in the same way that I would work with levels. And that means adjusting the white point, the black point, and a mid-tone value for the image. Because I'm working on a black and white image, which is in the grayscale color mode, the curves adjustment actually behaves somewhat backwards from what you might be accustomed to if you've only worked on color images. Specifically, if we move the curve upward when working on a black and white image that is in the grayscale color mode, we're adding ink to the image. In essence, we're darkening the image by raising the values. Normally, raising the values in curves would brighten the image because we're increasing the intensity of light. And so the behavior may be a little bit backwards if you've mostly worked with color images. You'll see that as I move the curve upward, I'm darkening the image, and as I move the curve downward, I'm brightening the image. But we can simply use the reference gradient over on the left-hand side to remind us of which direction we need to move the curve. I'll go ahead and reset the curve back to its initial values, and let's get started with a white point adjustment. That's located over on the left side since I'm working with a grayscale image, and so I'll hold the Alt key on Windows or the Option key on Macintosh while dragging the slider itself over toward the right. As I do so, you'll notice that some pixels start to appear, and those pixels indicate where I'm losing detail in the highlights. I don't actually want to lose any detail, I just want to maximize the tonal range in the image, and so once I see those pixels appear, I'll move back over to the left just a little bit until the point where those pixels just disappear. In some cases, I might leave one or two of those pixels, and I need to be especially careful when I'm working on an older image to keep in mind that some of the spots I might see, for example, this spot was white in that clipping preview display, might be the result of blemishes in the photo. So I'll need to take those into account as I'm applying my adjustment. I think we have a pretty good white point adjustment. Let's go ahead and take a look at the black point slider now. I'll once again hold the Alt or Option key and then drag that black point slider inward. And again, we'll see pixels start to appear and those pixels indicate where I'm losing detail. So I'll back off just a little bit, moving that black slider over to the right until all of the key pixels disappear. And we can see already I have a significant improvement in terms of overall contrast in the photo. I'll then turn my attention to the midtones in the image, grabbing the curve at the center and literally just clicking on the curve and then dragging upward or downward as needed. In this case, I'll drag upward in order to add some density to the image to darken up the overall appearance, focusing that adjustment on the midtones. So you can see I've brought the curve inward from the highlight and the shadow point, increasing the value for white and black, and then I've adjusted overall tonality with a mid-tone adjustment. That's a relatively basic way of working with curves, but of course we can get a bit more sophisticated as well. For example, I'd like to darken up the tonal values that represent the face here. First, I need to figure out where on the curve that might be. And of course, it's going to be the relatively bright values, so it's probably somewhere over in here on the curve itself. But I don't want to have to worry about reading the histogram and figuring out where on the curve I need to adjust. Instead, I'll simply work directly on the image. So I'll click on the On Image Adjustment button on the Properties panel and then move my mouse out over the image. Now you'll notice that as I move my mouse over the face here, there is a circle that's moving up and down on the curve, and that indicates where on the curve the tonal value that's currently underneath my mouse actually exists. 
but I don't need to worry about the specific position on the curve. Instead, I can simply mouse over an area of the image that I want to work on and then click and drag up or down in order to adjust that area of the photo. So for example, I'll drag downward and you can see that I'm adding density into those face tones. And as I drag upward, I'm brightening up those face tones. But really, I'm not just adjusting the face. I'm adjusting all tonal values in the image that are relatively close to those values found in the face. And so if I'm going to darken down portions of the image that represent the face, you'll notice that the rest of the image is getting brightened up as well. And so I'm losing some of the density in the clothing here. Of course, that was adjusted primarily by this anchor point that I added earlier so I can always refine the position of that anchor point. So now I've effectively bent the curve upward just a little bit so that we're getting a darkening of the skin tones in this case. And I can continue working in this manner, clicking on areas of the image that I want to adjust and then dragging up or down as needed within the image in order to apply a tonal adjustment to specific areas of the photo. And once again, keep in mind that we're isolating areas based on tonality and in fact, just focusing our adjustment on a specific range of tonal values. As I adjust the curve, I'm really adjusting the entire image. I'm just focusing the adjustment on a specific tonal range. I'll go ahead and refine that adjustment just a little bit. I don't want to darken up the clothing too much. That looks to be pretty good. So now I have an image that is significantly improved. I'll go ahead and turn off the visibility for the curves adjustment layer and then turn it back on. And you can see we have much greater density, much greater detail, especially in some of the darker areas of the photo. And overall, it just simply has a much better overall contrast and the tonality, the basic brightness of the image, looks much improved as well. Of course, we could take things further and apply targeted adjustments to specific areas of the image as well. But as you can see, just by working with the basic capabilities of curves, we're able to impact the image very significantly.